proud of me. But this is as far as I can take you. You're gonna have to walk from here. Thanks, Chuck. Hey, you hear that wind a howling? That there's a storm coming. You better watch yourself out there. You hear? Oh yeah. Some folks don't usually come round this end too much, so be careful. You got a weapon? Just give me a holler if you need me to come get you. I do always trust a good skipper from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all your help. Thanks, Chuck. You made this game. I don't. I don't know, Chuck. Well, let's go. Airbird seed for up. Where's one through four at? Oh no. Oh no. Yep. We're going to the other world. Zack. A deadly premonition. Dang it, game. How do you feel about this one? I don't like it. Honestly, I'm torn. I know the truth that awaits us here isn't one we want to accept. But we have to keep marching ahead. We're FBI special agents, remember? The United States Department of Justice has authorized us to deliver justice in their name. You know, sometimes I get to thinking, why did I ever decide to work in the justice sector? At least we have that, and I have a lot of coffee. I can't hit him. I like the... The maze on top of me. <laughs> I don't understand the little girl, and I don't like one to either. Be afraid to use that, man. I have like a thousand coffee. What the? What hit me? Hoping I could just save before. Wow, you take eight shots. Okay, I do want to use that, because I might as well if I have them. And the game's probably going to give me more anyway. Whoa! Wait. I noticed that way too late. Is there not a way there? Game lied to me, okay. I don't like how this map is set up. 
So it looks like I'm going the right way and it, there's a curveball that I'm not. section. Okay, this guy, the, the little girls have a weird health bar. Game? I'm sorry, what? Would it find some ammo though to be safe? I'll go ahead and use a small med kit too while I'm at it. Cause I know I just if I... That's unfortunate, but it looks like we're gonna make it out just fine. Ah. 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 All right, we made it to this. This shouldn't be that hard. Hey, it's the boathouse. Why is there no save game? Zach, we've reached the final stage. We have? Are you prepared for the truth? Nothing but the truth. Save Patricia and Melvin. Who else is here to sa Wait, who would hurt Melvin? I don't see save Melvin an option here. That's anticlimactic. What the freak? That's I love you. I'll do anything for you. I'll make your wish come true. Wow. You stand before the goddess. Mind your manners. Sorry, but I don't worship that deity. You always were a rude one. Patty, everything's all right now. Just come over to me. She can't hear you, York. Patricia's already in a trance. Outside voices can't reach her. You didn't. Saint Rouge? Now what kind of fool do you take me for? She's the consecrated virgin, and virgins need to be pure. She won't be able to serve the goddess if she gets all corrupted. Now will she? And besides, she's got a resistance to the stuff. Might be due to the blood she inherited from her parents. Or might be Saint Rouge was designed that way on purpose. Not that it matters now, cause she's about to die. I 
I wouldn't do that if I were you, York. Or did you forget who gave you Mr. Alligator to begin with? You think I'd hand you a weapon without any sort of safeguard in it? This is straight out of a bad sea movie, Melvin. Call it what you want, York. But I'm the main character here, and you already played your part. Now that Candy's become the goddess, I will take her once more and claim my seat as the king who rules this town. Yes, I will be the one who reveals the Clarkson's legacy! Wait, what? Power isn't important to you, Melvin. All you care about is your loving family, remember? The man who won the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world, Melvin Woods. We can still stop this from happening. You just need to wake up, Melvin. <laughs> York, you really are a second-rate man. You're incapable of understanding how other folks feel. Lena was the one I loved. What? Candy's merely the symbol we use to restore the Clarkson's glory. The goddess of fertility is just an idol designed to guide our people down the proper path. I devoted everything I had to Lena. Hey, Patricia! Ah. I was obsessed with Lena ever since I was a kid. She lived in a big mansion and also had skin as white as snow. All I ever wanted was to be just like her. My friends were too close-minded to understand. Don't let the white man brainwash you, they said. But race was never a part of it for me. She was always far above that shit. A higher being who surpassed it all. By the time I grew up, she already changed forms and abandoned her home. At first, I was so shocked. It felt like my dreams had been shattered before I ever got a chance to pursue her. But when I finally got a chance to meet her face to face, everything changed. I loved her female form with all my heart. The moment I saw her again, she completely possessed my soul. Hey, York, you know how they say God created man in his own image? That's what Lena is. She's God's finest creation. The perfection of the human race. She wasn't perfect in any way, Melvin. She was just another criminal who happened to be a bit smarter than most. <laughs> you never understand. Anywho, I decided to follow her plan. And so I became the one who supported her from the shadows working to fulfill her dream of restoring the Clarkson's glory. That's why I seduced Candy, married her, and kept giving her Saint Rouge whenever Lena told me to. Then, you know what happened? About one year ago, we finally saw a sign. A sign of the birth of the goddess of fertility. You mean she started growing horribly obese? Eight years. It fell long but also short somehow. I knew from the start that much blood would be spilled, but I had no other choice. It was the only way for me to make my beloved angel need me. So you murdered Galena too? Yeah, that didn't exactly go according to plan. Galena was supposed to kill Lise, and Lena was supposed to take Patricia's life. Then Lena and Galena were supposed to kill PJ and end their own lives. Filicide, patricide, and suicide. These three types of sacrifice were gonna complete the blood purge. But then you came to town. You're such a pest, York. I loathe every fabric of your being. Always buzzing around us like a gnat, trying to upset our faith, but no more. I'm going to stop you right here, sacrifice my daughter, and complete Lena's plan once and for all. There may have been some hiccups in the plan, but the result won't change. 
After all, I'm her daddy. In the end, the goddess of fertility and her king will be the only ones left. We'll find a way to make do on our own. Hey, yo, haven't you been wondering why I'm talking so much about myself? Because this is the last stage of the game? Nope. I've just been waiting for this. The bud. Soon, she'll be reborn. And the goddess of fertility will be among us. It all ends here! What? How did... Patty, are you alright? We're doing this right here, right now. <sighs> I'm Patty now? Stop, God damn it! Get away from her! Daddy! Baba! Get out of the way! Wow. But the goddess! Let us play as... Daddy! <laughs> no! Damn it! I was supposed to be the king! The... to stop the fire! Shit! <laughs> Damn it! Patricia? If Mama and I die, it'll all end, right? I know about the real you. I know that my blood's cursed. So I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die here with Mama, so it'll all stop. Just please, please run, Daddy. You're a good man, aren't you? I... I... What? Daddy, you saved me? Patty. Zack, I need you. Give me strength. What? Daddy, you saved me. But why? Daddy, I can't do it. Oh, oh. 
Are you all right? Agent York, save my daddy! Get out of here! York, take my CLG! And run! No! I can't leave both of you here! Just go! No! I'm not leaving! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I... Send... I, I can't come back... To this world... We have to say goodbye here... I'll take your mama with me... It's time for you to start a new life, sweetie... One where you won't be shackled to your destiny... York... I've confessed my sins... I'm gonna die here... I know this isn't how you wanted things to go down... But she's innocent! My CLG is pure... Please... Just... Take her and get out of here... No! No! I'm staying with you! My daughter's in your hands now, York. Let's go, Patty. No! Let me go! Daddy! Mama! No! Oh. I'm sorry, CLG. I've been a horrible father. Even before we ever met, I was always heading down the wrong path. <laughs> but I finally understand it now. I love my family from the bottom of my heart. Both you and your mama. Me too. I love you with all my heart, Daddy. I'm sorry, Candy. Such a failure. I screwed it all up again. Your whole plan's been ruined. I'm sorry. Right up to the end, I, I could never do anything right. Oh, really? So it's all okay? Oh, good. Well, just hold on then. Candy and I will be. Right there. The worst father. Graced with the sweetest daughter. Life can be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> but it wasn't all bad. The amazing animation continues. America, Spain, Sweden, Liberia? Katrina brought that rain to us. And now, I realize that at the very end, I saw it. 
I'm Zack now. But. She washed all that away. Every last trace. How he's playing makes me sad. Like, who plays piano that way? Oh, I didn't make you think my shoulders hurt. Casey! So he does exist. That was a mixed bag of emotions. Holy cow. So, I was thinking voodoo. No, technically we went... Freak. Uh, I want to say the, sir, uh, the Venus dolls where you have the... Uh, I think the best way to say it. You're... I mean, technically back in the old days, yada yada. Being overweight was a thing of power and beauty to the people. And then back then, for women to look the way that Candy did would be a sign of a god's fertility, which is like the Venus... I want to say Venus, but I know that's not right. Man, there's a mixed bag of emotions from this part. I didn't see coming. Let alone... Next time on Deadly Premonition 2. Yeah. Let's figure out what yeah. to even do next. I'll see you then.